as an example of problem formulation, let's um, consider the eight queen problem again. So it's a game. And in this game, we, we start with an empty board. And the players take turns into putting a queen on the board. And the goal is to have a board with eight queens on, on, the, on the board where no one is attacking another one diagonally, vertically, or horizontally. So the state is any arrangement of zero to eight queens on the board. And we know how, many, how, ma how much is this. This is 68 times 67 times times 57 possible arrangement of having zero to eight queens on the board. The initial state is having an empty board in which no one put a queen yet on the board. The actions is simply each player adding a queen on the board on an empty square. So this is, these are the possible valid actions. You can't, for example, push one queen and replace it by another one. The transition model is the updated board. And finally, the goal test is a test that allows us to say whether the eight queens on the board are not, none of them is attacked. So it's a test that compares each queen with respect to the other ones and says whether the goal test is found and there is no, um, no one attacked, uh, no queens attacked by another one. Another famous story example in um, search problems is called the eight puzzle, in which we have a puzzle. It's a board of three by three. And the idea is to, um, and each board, each square has a number, ex except one of them, that's three. It's possible to move the squares around. So the idea is to start with some initial state and reach a goal state. So here's a possibility. So for example, we could start with this um, uh, first board on the left that has actually the number 0 to 7, in, um, not in order. And we want to be able to move the squares around until we reach um, the goal, which is the numbers ordered from 0 to 7, uh, starting from this um, middle top um, square. So this could be a possible start state, and this could be a possible goal state. Let's now formalize the problem of the eight puzzle. So first of all, what are the states? The state is uh, any configurations of the eight tiles on the 3x3 three three grid. So the location of each of the tiles in the 3x3 three three grids represent the possible states. Uh, the initial state is any, start we want, any state we want to start with. So this is a possibility of an initial state in which we have this configuration of numbers on the, on the grid. But it could be any, anywhere we start. The action is we have only four possibilities. Here is to move left, right, up, or down. So because of the shape of the grid and the, the, the fact that there is only one square that's empty, we could all only do this kind of possible actions. A transition act model is, given a state and an action, it will return a resulting state. So if you are in the state and we move the 0 to the left, we are transitioning the state from, another, from one state to another one. The goal state, uh, in this case we pick this to be a goal state, is a state that actually matches the goal. So whenever we are exploring the search space for ways to move the, the ties, we are going each time to test when we reach a state in the, in, the, in the game, whether we are reaching actually the goal state. The path cost, finally, is the number, total number of moves. We want, for example, if you want to organize this tiles by increasing order from 0 to 7, we don't want to spend a long time doing that. So this can be um, assessed by the number of moves. So the total number of moves where each one costs 1 could be um, an assessment of how well we are doing in reaching the goal. A typical application of search agent is routing problems. So suppose you have a map on which we have cities, and you want to go from a city to another one. So you need to find, use a search agent that helps you find your route or your way going from one city to another one. So this is, a, this is an example of the North America cities that actually is inspired by the example of Romania in the book from Russell and Norvig. So uh, we picked North America um, in our case. So suppose we are in the city of Boston and you want to reach the city of Denver. Can you help, um, help me find a path or way from Boston to Denver? So a search agent typically will search for possible successful path that will lead me from Boston to Denver. So it could be, for example, this path here, right? It could be going this way, or it could be going that way. Right? So the different ways, different paths that lead from the, uh, from the point A to point B. All right. So typically, let's formulate the problem. In this case, we have the state is being in any of the cities in the map on the map. So cities could be Los Angeles, San Francisco, Denver, New York, Boston, etc. The initial state in our example, I'm in Boston. I want to reach Denver. So how can I do that? My initial state is being uh, in Boston, right? And the actions I can do when, if I'm in Boston, 
so this is uh, here, uh, is to go to New York or to um, um, Montreal. So these are the two possible actions. But you can also, in any other state, you could go to Salt Lake City. So going in any city is an action, a valid action in the, in the problem. Transition model tells us if we are in a city and we go to another one, where we are, where we end up. So for example, the results of Bain in Boston and going in New York brings us to Bain in New York, okay? The goal test is B in Denver. This is what I want to achieve. I'm in Boston, I want to get into Den in, in Denver. The path cost, if I want to not spend a long time, uh, because you have seen that there are many ways to go to from Boston to Denver, is to count, for example, the path length in kilometers. So how much did it take me to go from Boston to Denver? And we want to have, you know, we could think about getting the solutions, but getting also the, the least, the, the solutions with the least cost or the least number of kilometers.